Hey, what's up guys? Um, I haven't made a video in a while, uh, so I just wanted to make a video, an update video of my Scrambler 400 um, 4x4. So last time you guys saw it, I didn't really, I had just gotten it, I didn't do too much to it. I still really haven't done too much to it. Um, this isn't really a four-wheeler that you modify the heck out of, so... Um, most most, notice, most noticeable is the handguards. I got a set of power mat handguards that I just put on, like just before I made this video. Um, I really like the way they look. The yellow really goes good with the color, um, the colorway that I have going on. The only thing is I can't really, I mean I just duct taped it to stay for this video, but I can't mount this one because of the way the braking system is, like here's the brake and then the fluid and I can't get the mount to fit, it needs to go, um, needs to go right in here and it won't fit in there so I don't know if any of you guys have any tips of how I can mount that, um, I haven't really played around with it, like I said I just wanted to see how they looked so this side works fine but this side can't get it to work. So, um, yeah. But that's the most noticeable thing that I've done to it is the handguards. Um, I got a set of ITP mud lights for the front. Last time, um, the last video I made, I just had the back ones. But I got the front ones now. So this thing pretty much goes through everything now with the ITP mud lights all the way around on it. Um, I got 4x4 sticker for both sides because the graphics are kind of peeling off. So I thought that yellow 4x4 stickers would look cool. So I got those um, for both sides. And then these like black rectangles, that's Velcro. I got some saddlebags for it for when I go trail riding. Um, I don't have them on right now, but that works really, really nice. You can put water in there, um, cell phone. It's really convenient. Um, and then I don't think, I don't know if I remember having it on there or not. I have, I got a Fox bar pad, yellow, for like five bucks. I just thought it looked good. The yellow looked good. There was a red one on there before, so. Or a black one, maybe it was black. Um, and then I also got a new gas cap that reads how much gas I have. So when I'm trail riding, it'll tell me, you know, full three-quarter tank, half tank, reserve. So that's really cool. That was only like 12 bucks, so. But yeah, um, that's really all I've done to it. Um, I don't know if I'm really gonna do anything else. Probably just like maintenance stuff, like new chain and sprockets, stuff like that. Maybe a front bumper, I haven't decided yet. Um, it's running really good. Knock on wood. Um, I guess you really never know with a two-stroke, but, um, I really like it. It's a really fun four-wheeler. I don't regret selling my sport quad at all. Um, this is so fun on the trails. So if there's anybody out there that's debating on getting one of these, four-stroke or two-stroke, I definitely recommend it. Um, it handles amazing. Like, you still have, it's like a four-by-four, four, so, it, you know, it goes through everything that it needs to go through. It's got the ground clearance, but... It still handles like similar to a sport quad, so um, if anybody's out there thinking about getting one, I definitely wouldn't think about it any longer. I would definitely go do it. Um, but yeah, so that's the update for you guys. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.